Earlier this year, this lady, Malia, said, Why should a man, a boyfriend, be asking for appreciation from his girlfriend after giving her the sum of 5,000 naira, 8,000 naira, 10,000 naira? Why? Why? But fast forward, this girl just recently opened an OnlyFans account where he's begging people to subscribe for the sum of 28,000, 50,000 naira, 10,000 naira, depending on the premium view. And you do not need me to define what OnlyFans account means. I mean, you must have heard about it severally, severally, and what our girls are doing currently. Now, Let's listen to that said interview earlier this year. Send me a stupid amount like 5k <laughs> or 10k. It's God, weird. I'm, I'm what do you want me I'm to tell you? Me. Thank you? No, I'll tell you thank you. Like, I have to tell you thank you, but there'll be like seven I'll talk to you again anyway. This is like, I'm, this is how it's going to be. It's, it's going to be test after test after test. I don't have that I don't energy. even have that. Yes, it's, it's a like, test. I don't even I'm know concerned. if it's a test or not. The way I see it is that. 10,000, not the other way. Wait, wait. It's not the other way I can do like to somebody. That. But what can 10,000 I do to me? What can, then give it to somebody on the streets. Am I on the streets? Do you know what I've been cute? Use the 10K and give, actually give Find it to something. a beggar. Give it to a beggar. Like, I'm telling you, I will be like, wow, this an empathetic person. This is such a, this See is you. such a, wow, See you. Thing. <laughs> uh, It's not, it's not as if women are not making so much millions on, on all the fans. But it's just that when you say, why will a guy be asking for appreciation after giving you 5,000 naira, 10,000 naira, and you girls agreed that you should give it to a beggar, give it to a street girl, then what are you now? Selling your punani, selling your your kwikus, and showing off your ikwikus online just for ten thousand naira. Then what are you now? We are we going to uh, classify you? Hmm? We are we going to classify you? You are begging people to subscribe for premium for this for the sum of ten thousand, fifty thousand naira, twenty eight thousand naira. To view your ikbikus online, then what are you now? Now you are you are begging, no? Are you not a beggar now? The same you said you are you all agreed. You agreed that hey, if a girl has money, give it to a beggar now. Give it to a street girl. You are not only a street girl. You are not only a beggar. You did post them online. Ha. Huh. You they post them online. Now ask the people to please subscribe. To please subscribe. Then what are you? Then what are you now? What are you? Are you not a street girl? Are you not a beggar? Are you never worse than it? Man, this life, eh? You should have followed some certain people talking. Eh? And your life spoil, eh? You have yourself to blame. No anybody do you. Listening to all those kind of girls. With no moral background. With nothing. Failed family. Failed father. Failed mother. See, this is my greatest fear. As a man. My greatest fear is women. Having a female child. And that female child, no matter all you have done for that child, that child will end up to be this kind of girl. Oh, God forbid. May God not make person burn the rubbish. Show. Honestly, I think that should be a prayer point. As you pray for prosperity, as you pray for children, tell God, if you are going to give me a useless child, take that child away. Yes, so if you are going to, you know, this child will, bring, will make me regret. Please, Allah, take that child away. Because it's better. It's better to be childless than to born a child that it will be used as a tool by other human beings. Just imagine all those be all those guys who cause havoc, who are tools to humanity. Tools, only not tools to humanity. They just they use, use them. Use use them as tools. 
I don't understand people's situation, oh, please. Eh? But who wants to, who, 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 whoever wants to be in that position as a father or as a mother, to discover that your child was a tool to humans? Be it criminals, be it dogs, not the same thing. How will you feel? Hmm? How will you feel when other people's children are doctors? Other people's children are nurses? Humanitarian, no matter the little, the little they are any, it's not about money. No matter the little they are any, they are hairdressers. Yes, they are cleaners, any that little money. They are cleaners. Hairdressers, sellers, traders, or they are big, big women with good businesses, striving. People they born that kind of children, then you will call go born or lose you. You will call go born only fan a person. Better say the person, even if the person they drive the biggest kind in this world. No show now, no show. That person a tool to humanity, tool. Na shove, ho. Oh. Now that person be to humanity. You cannot change it. Money cannot change it. Money cannot change it. So that is why, as you give better, also let your children know that money is not everything. You can hand that little thing and keep your dignity. We only have a few years to live on this heart. Nothing more. But now, the reason why we preach money, 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 money. The world is all about money. Right. Well, that being said, there is one South Africa girl that recently decided to write this stuff. This is a South Africa girl. On her social media account, she writes, she said, I am so tired of this life. I ruined my life trying to live a soft life. Sleeping with men for money. Selling myself. All for what? I disappointed my parents. I couldn't even finish school. My life is ruined. Now, I just tested positive for HIV. And I don't know what I will do. But please... To every young girl out there, this is not worth it. <laughs> See how like this kind of fine girl, fine girl like this. Regretting. Fine girl like this. Regretting it. Fine girl like this. But the young is no go no. They will never learn. They will never learn. They must go through it. Too. They must go through it. But one beautiful thing about life eh, is age. You cannot stay young forever. You age. And in your age, old, eh, in your old age, you must realize it. You know, it's not possible. You will judge yourself eh, before you leave. That is if I don't meet you as all, the, as all those kind of guests. That is if I don't meet you. You will judge yourself in your old age before you leave. You will either tell yourself, oh, I have done well. Or, oh, oh, I have used myself. Those two things must come up. You know, guy, they be. So it's, 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 it's actually great eh, for this girl. She realizes it much more younger. And now she will live for the betterment of her life. She realized realize it much more younger. What about you? What about you? I may not realize it until you are 80 years old. I mean, you want to do a low show since 70. All those guys, I mean, you, want, you want to talk about podcasts, about a low show, all those things. Still 60 years? Come on, man. Hmm? Well, talking about age, eh? Let's meet a 64 years old woman who recently discovered that she was pregnant for a man. Been trying to get in touch with you, but you haven't been answering your phone. Judy? Yes, it is. I've been busy, Judy. I apologize. I've been caught up. Well, you know you got a baby coming, right? Baby who? 
Your baby. This is my baby. Yes, no baby. yes, you do have, have one too. You have one coming. I have one coming. Yes, how you how do. What? How that happen? How they tell you? You know how it happened. Well, we'll see when a DNA. We'll see when a DNA uh, test comes. So, what are you trying to say? I'm out here sleeping all around. You sleeping somewhere? No, I'm not neither. Judy, somebody ain't being honest here, Judy. Something ain't right. You'll find out when we have that DNA test done. That's all I got to say. I'm not going to get my blood pressure up uh, back and forth with you. We're just going to have that done, and then we'll go from there. I understand, Judy, but something must be wrong now, Judy. So I'm not going to have anything else to say to you because I'm really pretty much uh, pissed off at you because you ain't okay. been answering your phone. You going on, oh, I'm going to put your ass on child support. Because no, I am no, not going no, through God. this shit no more. Oh, you bitch, you. you oh, get a oh, we can go down there and get a DNA test done. Oh, Reggie, ain't no dead, Now, he'll do what he got to do. Okay, now, so on, let's do what we have to do. And that, and that DNA you. test will straighten it out since you don't believe yeah. me. I thought you was better than that, but I see you're not. Well, then, because when Pete up being born, I'm going to put your ass on child support. Who the hell just gave you the pregnancy? Who did that? Didn't I just show you that pregnancy test I had did? Judy, that ain't me, Judy. You ain't been talking to me, Judy. No, because you ain't been answering your phone, you damn liar. That's right. Well, I had I'm, to cut the lights out, Judy. You, I had to cut your mouth. You had to do what? This is sexual harassment. No, it's not this no sexual this harassment. This you're not going to you're not going to get out of this. Judy, I, I don't know, Judy. I don't think I can have no babies, Judy. Well, Judy. well. 64 years old. You just come out to tell and say I'm pregnant at 64 years. And you say, me the man take a well. <laughs> 64 years old woman, how you think it belly? <laughs> Ah, how can you call me? So, so all those people who are doing sugar bomb, be careful. If you knock a sugar bomb, be there. <laughs> 64 years getting pregnant. Well, that's crazy. That's massive, baby.